Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the Spring MVC internationalization and localization. Internationalization is also abbreviated as I18N and localizations similarly we used to call L10N because internationalization starts from I and end with N and between that we have an 18 character. Similarly, when you tell localization then localization starts with L and end with N and between that we have a 10 characters that's why uh, that is also called I18N and L10N. So welcome to the Spring Internationalization tutorial. Any web application with users all around the world, internationalization or localization is very important for better user at attraction, interaction. Most of the web application frameworks provide easy ways to localize the application based on the user local setting. Spring also follows the pattern and provides extensive support for internationalization through the use of Spring interceptors, local resolvers, resource bundles for different locals. So here uh, I have already created a project. Let me run you this project and let's check it out how it is it is working after that i'll i'll explain you uh, concept related with this uh, by using the different uh, files which i have created offline so just i'm going to run this project and once i run this project then register.jsp will be forwarded to the client and here you can see the this is the page and here you can see by default this play page is di displayed in English language and here I have a specified a two link so when user wants to see this page in French language then user has to click on the French and entire page is converted into the French and here user can fill the data like name I'm gonna enter Kishan gender as male Technology, I'm going to select a spring and higher net. Uh, city, I'm going to select other. And here, telephone number, I'm going to provide some fake toilet telephone number. And here, I'm going to enter today's date. So, today's is uh, 27 June 2017. So, month is 6 and day is 27. And sorry and when the user uh, clicks on user clicks on register button then this page is getting forwarded and that is also displaying in the french language right so here now you show the functionality how it's working now let's go through the each and every file and let me explain how basically i have implemented uh, this internationalization related project so for simplicity, uh, I have taken, uh, I have implemented interna internationalization application uh, to supports only two lo local. First is the English, that is by default, and second is the French, right? If no user local is specified, we will use English as default local. Let's create, uh, so here I have created our uh, two. Uh, resource bundle this is called resource bundle and here uh, important point to note is that both the resource bundles are in the uh, class path of the application and their name has a pattern as like messages underscore local name for English uh, so every country is having a uh, uh, own language and every language has a certain uh, a certain symbols right so english usually we represent with en so messages underscore en dot property that is for english which holds the key value pairs in english and for french local we have a messages underscore french fr dot properties which contains the key value pairs key is in english but value you can see in the french language right so here i have used unicode uh, especially for the French local 
I have used Unicode, Unicode for special characters in the French local resource bundle so that it gets interpreted properly in the response HTML sent to the client request. Right? So here if you look into the JSPs, so I have a two JSPs, right? And the here here the only part worth mentioning is the use of the message column uh, spring column messages so if you look at, look at here here i have used a spring column messages everywhere right so basically it is used to retrieve the message uh, with the given code make sure a spring tag libraries are configured using tag lib jsp directive so here you will have to specify this directive right so uh, and once you specified it you directory then you can use a spring is the prefix right you have taken a spring as prefix so a spring colon message right and you specify the key over here so corresponding value will be retrieved from the bundle right resource bundle so a spring basically takes care of the loading the appropriate resource bundle messages and that and and make it available for the gsp pages to use so here basically all key value pairs for different locales I have specified in the different properties file and JSP will have to specify the tag lib directory and you need to use uh, basically message tag to retrieve and you need to specify the key a corresponding value will be retrieved from the client now uh, retrieve from the uh, resource bundle uh, now here you can see on register.jsp which is initially provided to the client then I have a specified tool link over here so first link for the English language and there I am passing lang uh, lang lang this lang attribute just I am uh, retrieving in the back end so that is uh, that is I have configured over here as a, a interceptor and interceptor is, has a local change interceptor has a par parameter is called param name and whose value is lang so this lang uh, value value for the this lang will be substituted by en right for english when user clicks on the english then lang is en when user clicks on the french then lang value is fr right so basically this way just we are telling the spring i want this space to be converted into the either in english or french so by default this will be displayed in the English when user clicks on the French then this parameter is going as a query parameter in the back end and that page gets displayed in the French language so here uh, we'll talk about the spring bean configuration file right be a spring bean configuration file is the place where all the magic happens this is the beauty of the spring framework as it helps us to focus more on the business logic rather than coding for the trivial task let's see how our spring bean configuration file looks like and we will look at the each of the bean one by one so if i go to the dispatcher servlet dot xml then here uh, all beans i have a space uh, defined so to work internationalization you will have to uh, write this tag mbc colon annotation driven now next i would like to talk about the message source so message source bin is configured to enable i18 n for our application base name property is used to provide the location of the resource bundle right so here basically a default encoding is used to define the encoding used for the messages so default encoding i have specified the utf 8 now next thing i would like to talk local resolver so local resolver bin is the type of uh, cookie local resolver and that is used to set the cookie in the client request so that the further request can be easily recognize the user local for example we can ask user to select the local when when he launches the web application for the first time and with the use of cookie we can easily the user uh, local and uh, we can easily identify the user local and automatically send local specific response 
we can also specify the def default local cookie name maximum age of the cookie before it gets expired and detected by the client browser here i would like to mention if you if your application maintains user sessions uh, then you can also use uh, something is called session local resolver as a local resolver to use a local attribute in the user session the configuration is very similar to cookie local resolver if you don't register any local resolver except header local resolver will be used by default which re which resolves uh, user local by checking the accept language header in the client http request and last but not but not the least i would like to talk about this interceptor so if you do not specify this interceptor then your internationalization functionality is not going to work so here a local change interceptor it is configure to intercept the user request and identify the user local the parameter name is configurable and we are using request parameter name as param name and value as lang which is coming from the uh, register page right so lang value we have specified en for english and fr for french right without this interceptor uh, without without this interceptor we won't be able to change the user local and send the response back on the uh, new local setting of the user it needs to be part of the interceptors elements otherwise spring won't configure it as a as an interceptor so i hope you understood this example so this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you have any query or any questions then please do post the below to the video i will try my best to answer those queries as soon as possible so thanks thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial